So earlier this year, I discovered the woodworker in me and I started learning a lot about how to work with wood. My goal was to brush calligraphy on wood, but I wanted to do something that felt finish and premium. After a lot of trial and error, I finally was able to create something that was truly special. These are probably the best pieces of art I've ever created. And I say this not only because of the calligraphy itself, but because everything is made by me, including the frame. I like to use birch plywood for calligraphy. I have brushed calligraphy on other wood materials like oak and pine, but I don't really like how the ink is absorbed on those materials. Sumi ink is really smooth on the surface of birch, and I also happen to really like the grain pattern of the wood. I start with a two x four sheet of a quarter inch plywood that I have to cut down to size. I wanna cut these at the same size as these uh, small chikishi boards, which is nine and a half by 10 and five eighths. And I have a template here that I did with an old piece of plywood that I'm gonna be using to measure and cut the panel. frames I'm going to use 1x2 premium pine boards. I have all the plywood now cut to size and I also have the frames made that I'm going to be using for this and now it's time to do some sanding and this is sanded plywood but still I'm going to sand it even more and I'm going to use a 220 grit sandpaper to make the surface really smooth. That was going to make the ink not bleed as much on the surface. Now I'll just clean them up with the shop vac. I have all the boards cut, sanded, ready to go. few coats of spray lacquer will seal and protect the wood. I finished the frames with a coat of red mahogany stain and I did that because I want the frames to be dark in color. That'll create a great contrast to the birch which is light in color. I'm not putting glass in the front of these frames because the calligraphy is made out of wood so it doesn't need it. So the way this is going to go is the calligraphy will fit in like this and to hold it into place so that it doesn't come out I'm going to put a piece of cardboard that fits in like that. 
A couple of brad nails will hold the cardboard in place. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these glitter teeth, I have them up for sale on my Etsy store. You can check them out by clicking on the link down below. These are ready to go, so they will ship within a day or two from ordering. Again, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.